Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with my tutorial series. Today we're looking at taxiing for beginners. I've had a lot of people ask me, how do I know where to taxi? Why do I know where I'm going? A lot of people are still using the the help uh, add-ons that you get. You know, you get those blue markers that will teach you, uh, show you where you need to go for your taxi. And people don't want to use that. Now there are a few things that we can do. Now there are two options that I'm going to be showing you. The links will be in the description for both. Uh, now the main one is there is a freeware and payware when it comes to charts. You will need navigation charts. We have no choice. Now unfortunately the VFR map at the moment, I don't know if there's something that they're going to bring in, but if uh, if they do it will make this a lot better. We don't have any taxi icons so we don't really know what we're doing. But it's great that we actually have this so we can actually see the breakdown of the airport which is great. But we can't see all the, the taxi numbers of all the, all the routes uh, to get to the runways. Um, so we, we, we need to do something else. So you can get charts from a freeware website, which will be in the link down below, and you can use Navigraphs, which is a pay subscription. Now, I use Navigraphs because I use it for all my flight simulators. Um, it's a very, very tool to have, very, very good tool to have. Uh, I have shown some features of Navigraph in prior, uh, prior tutorials to this. You can go check them out if you wish. Uh, but I'm going to show you something else now with Navigraph that will uh, help you with your taxis. Now, what will happen is we'll bring up Navigraph and you're going to get a chart like this. So we're currently in Gatwick Airport. That's where we are. Uh, I know that we are here at the maintenance area. That's what I put myself. Um, so here we go. We can see all these letters now. I'm not going to go in depth to breaking this all down. We don't need that right now. We're looking at a beginner's guide to how to taxi. Uh, there will be tutorials in the week about reading air airport charts and stuff, which I have uh, explained last week. Um, so basically now we can see all these little numbers and digits and stuff. So we can now start planning... Uh, runways now if you were to go to the freeware site this would be the exact chart you'd pretty much get they're all the same and uh, what you could do is print it off and you could work out your route and then go and taxi now navigraph has something else which is really really handy if we go up here you're going to see this little arrow enable moving maps i've clicked on it and there we go it's now brought us a pink little arrow of where we are i see i knew we were there um, so this will now follow me. So what I usually have on my second monitor when I'm doing any flights, I have all my charts pinned and I will be watching my own taxi, etc. Um, but there is something else we can do. So if you were to, say, print off the chart, and what we'll do, I'll bring it up here in paint. I'm just going to bring back the simulator quickly. Quickly, badly. There we go. And we're going to see here now, we've already asked for our taxi. Um, they've asked us to taxi at 26 left via taxiway TJZANM, contact tower 124 when ready. So how are we going to work all that out? There is a lot there. So if I bring up my paint here, and let's get a pen and a brush. There we go. So we know that we are starting here. I know that because we picked the place on the map. And we need to go to 26 left because that is what they've asked us to do up here. So we know we're going to be going down here some way. Now there's a lot of letters here. This gets very confusing once we get down here. Um, and I'm not very good at using paint with a mouse. So I'll try and keep this as steady as I can. So look, let's just follow this. So taxi T. Here we go. We can see the letter T. This is our first taxi route. So we're going to come out of the maintenance and we're going to take taxi route T down to where it stops, which is here. Then you're going to see J. Now, J goes all the way up and down. Now, we know we're going to 26 left, so obviously we're going to go this way. So we're going to follow J all the way down. Not very straight there, guys. I do apologize. Okay, so we need to see where we need to come off next. It says A and then AN. We can see A and AN. So this taxiway J will continue on, and then it will join up here to A. And then we're going to go on to a n is one it's here we know now that we need to come off at m and we're going to hold short at runway 26 so this is m so we're going to come down here and there's our gate to hold short here this is the gates you can see them all here and we would hold short then contact the tower before we get clearance you cannot take off with ground ground will only move you around the ground then you'd have to contact the tower then for your takeoff um, if we want a separate tutorial on procedures, maybe that is something I can do in the future. Let me know in the comments down below, maybe. Uh, we could look at that. So look, I know that this is my taxiway. So obviously you'd have a pen and paper if you print it off and it's a lot easier than paint. So I know this is the route that I need to take. Um, so I could have this on the desk while I'm taxiing. And I could look out for the little air, um, taxi markers, which we're going to see. So what I'm going to do quickly, I'm just going to turn this aircraft on. That's why I picked the 152, uh, because... Quick and simple. It's all turned on, I believe. We've got our lights and stuff ready. So look, at the same time now, I know that that marker, we were coming down here that I drew, 
Uh, we can see that J comes all the way down to here. Then we're going to take AN, which will come down here. And then into M. And that's where we're going to hold short. Sorry, M. We were the last one. So we're coming all the way down here into M. And so now that I have that in my mind, I could do it that way, which is fine. Uh, I'm not going to ask for any more things from ATC. Now, if I bring up my Navigraphs, obviously, like I said, normally it's on a second monitor. Um, I can zoom in a little bit here, and we can watch ourselves as we do this. So I'm just going to take off the parking brake. I'm going to turn this around myself. And you're going to see that the moving maps marker is now going to move. Uh, which is perfect. So, obviously, when you taxi, you're going to stay on the yellow lines. The reason for that is because planes have long wingspans. This should keep safety from hitting other aircrafts and objects, buildings, etc. Um, so yeah, that's why we follow these yellow lines. Now obviously not so easy in these smaller aircraft, but in the bigger ones, you know, try and do your best to stay on them. So, you know, you, you taxi at quite, quite a slow rate. It's not, it's not a fast uh, thing this taxi. And so we can see now that we are coming down T. So I know then we're going to be looking for J. And once we get down to the end here, you should be able to see the markers now. This is where T would end. We're probably going to see a line. Now this is why these Navigraph charts are handy because it's not very easy to read these at the moment. So if I come in, I mean we could zoom in. Uh, we know that we're on T, but we want to go down to J. Okay, so we'd be looking out for all these markers. We weren't even at the end of T. The end of T is just here. And you'd be doing this way. Now in real life, pilots would have had the charts. They know which airports they're going into and out. They would have this already marked off. They would have their own way of working it out. Maybe like, you know, print it out and drawing it out, etc. So, you know, we can look here and we know that we're looking for J. Again, that's still T because it's going across. Um, but you can see that J's up there now. So look, we can't do that. That's why these charts are very important at the moment. So we're going to bring it back up. And we know that we want to go down J. So that's what we're going to do. Now, if you had the aids on this will be the route it would take you but i'm just showing you how i use navigraphs to taxi or any other kind of charts and how i taxi in my game because people do ask me a lot how do you know where to go in your taxis um well it's just a bit of forward planning uh, just like in real life you'd have to be doing the same you'd have to know the airports um you know some pilots might fly in out the same airport numerous times a day they might know the airports very well yeah uh, you know it could be loads of different factors but they would have done their homework of course so again, so we're going to continue going down here. And you can see us on moving maps now. I know that everything is good. And the next one that we want to be going to, because I've already forgotten, uh, stay on the yellow line. Uh, J down to Z A A N. Okay, so we're going to follow J all the way down. We're not going to come off J pretty much at all, all the way down to the bottom. Obviously, we'll keep an eye and make sure there's nothing else in the way. We're still following J as we make our way down to the runway here in Gatwick. Okay, now we're going to be looking for A, A, N, and M. So we know that once we come down to the end here, we will be going on to A. Just going to slow us down a little bit here. But again, you're going to see all these markers now. So like in real life, they, that's what they might be looking out for here. They may be looking. Uh, we can see N, A, S, A, S etc we're just going to go a little bit further for ourselves Down onto AN.
And then we're going to be going on to N. As you can see, AN there. But just try and stop. Terrible, terrible place. Um, but if we stop here, you can now see the markers. That's what we're looking for. So this is AN going on to M, which is perfect. That's what we want. Okay, bring up our navigraphs again so you can still see. And we know that we now need to hold short. So this will work for both ways as you come in or out. Um, the other good thing with the moving maps on Navigraph, if you have your flight plan open, uh, you can also see um, where you are in the world on your route, uh, which is very, very handy. Need to unclick that so I can zoom out. <laughs> okay, so we can now see that we've made it to 26LM, which is what we're asked to do. And once we get to the marker, we will hold short. And this is where we would then contact the tower and... Uh, get our clearance for takeoffs etc so like I said we can see we're down here at M we'd hold short just at the bottom bit here contact the tower uh, get our clearance and take off there you go guys that's how I taxi uh, there's a couple of methods for you like I said you can plan it yourself or you know Navigraphs Navigraphs is a great tool and I do highly recommend it See now, if I was just to show you very quickly, if I was to come out of the chart, uh, I do have a, a different flight on here, but there we go from Gatwick back to Dublin. You can see where we are here on the map, and if we were flying, you'd see it following all these waypoints that we have put in, etc. Um, so that's why Navigraphs is a great tool for flight planning, anything to do with kind of aviation simulation stuff. Uh, it is a very, very good little tool. There we have it guys. So we would literally have just turned up here and this is where we would have hold short and then ask for our taxi uh, for our takeoffs. And there we go. There we have it. That is how I know how to taxi and where I need to taxi to and from at airports. Now, if we were at a smaller airport, the only thing would be if it was an uncontrolled airport that wouldn't have a tower, you'd be looking for the windsock. And basically because you always take off into the wind and you'd be seeing where the windsock is flying uh, and then you would be taking off um, into the wind it's very very simple and again you would just make your own taxiways on uncontrolled airports just keeping an eye out. it's all visually done at the smaller airports but these are just the bigger ones I thought the bigger ones would be a bit more complex for you um, so there we go if you are enjoying this content please do subscribe down below to the channel hit the bell icon for notification I upload nearly every single day and other than that for myself thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now